Hi everyone, I'm using the Celestial Tarot for our reading today. I'll choose three cards and I'll read the base of the pack. And I'm drawn to choosing one as well from Anna Stark's pack for some extra guidance from the universe. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. So there we have one, the Six of Cups. the six of wands okay and three the ace of wands so we have the six of cups and this is Hercules the powerful energy of Hercules coming from the heavens asking us to really just focus on one thing sometimes we get lost and there's so much that we would love to learn and and would love to do but the cards are asking us to just focus on one thing whether it is having peace today and focus no matter what evolves around us to hold on and focus on peace as with the message yesterday of looking through the eye of an eagle that focused intent and that is what it takes as we take all our attention onto one thing it manifests it moves us in that direction so draw back all your attention draw back all your power away from anything that's causing you unrest and focus whether it is on peace or love or your own gift and we're all now tapping into our own gifts and and as we tap into it we feel at home we feel whole and so Hercules coming from the heavens like the genie out of the cups saying just focus on one thing and that will manifest in our lives that is a wish being granted for us and then we have the six of wands so we have two sixes in this reading so we have the six of wands and this is the fire card this is victory this is things coming into our lives now as we focus on the benefits and the beautiful the benefits that those beautiful feelings bring to us the if anything's causing any kind of uneasiness we know we've come out of alignment when we could settle back down into the core, there is only peace there. In this moment, coming back into the core, into the center of our being. And this is the fire cards. This is the element of Leo, the lion's gate coming through. Helping us to manifest our most beautiful wishes as we focus on them so this is a powerful time of manifestation this is the six of wands and when i see the six of wands i always see the traditional tarot card deck with the knight coming back with the holy grail and it always reminds me of king arthur coming back and this is us finding our holy grail finding out what it is that we love doing and giving ourselves permission to do it and so this is the six of wands this is a fire card a, a card of creation so as we have that focused intent we bring through this beautiful beautiful reality and then the ace of wands again that burst of fire that burst of passion that energy that comes through and ignites us from within nothing out there if we're chasing something out there we will always get lost come back within and feel the that 
passion igniting within and this is a gift this is things starting to come into our lives now because we are focusing on what makes us happy within we start to create it all around us so beautiful energy lots of fire energy and we're still in the conjunction of mars uranus and the north nodes in taurus and the north nodes are, are destiny there are direction and the in taurus which is the sign of uh physicalness all around us of finances of of beautiful things in our lives of the beauty of life everything that's practical is taurus and so we're being asked to focus on within first and then focus on the beauty that resides all around us looking out into nature looking out and around you uh, everything that you have drawn to you and if anything is causing any unrest take a nice deep breath and know that's the ego that started to talk to us tell us stories based on those uncomfortable feelings and if we have any anything that's going on like that take a deep breath and center ourselves and know we are exactly where we are meant to be at every given second and everything around us is teaching us so to come in and have that focused intent and as we move into our alignment with our authentic self we become happier and happier and at the base of the pack is leo we're in the season of leo this is the the lion's gate leo uh, is governed by the sun the, the the sun rules leo solely it doesn't so uh the power of this time and the sun is a beautiful creator wherever the sun shines things grow it brings positive energy brings lots of of positive outcomes in our lives and you can see there the lion coming through the card coming through the cosmos with the sunflower there and which which is a, sim, a symbol of prosperity so as we focus on the on everything around us that that is prosperous in fact focus on everything that's priceless that doesn't have a a, a, a monetary attachment with it focus on everything around us that's priceless and we draw even more to us in that spiritual sense in that beautiful aligned sense and this is abundance this is prosperity this is all the beautiful things that we have been working towards as we have really cultivated and and let go of those hold feelings that keep us in that place of constant attachment of constant uh, feelings of unease wanting to connect with somebody who is, hasn't got the same point of view as us and so we then go off our we go off our path we've been asked to stay focused on that forget about everybody else's opinion come in the richness of everything that we are looking for resides within us and as we find that we start to bring it forward into our life into the new earth that this is the time these alignments the the north nodes in taurus telling us to stay focused on the beauty of life feel that upliftment and as we do we start to weave more that's the golden thread that weaves the divine masterpiece of our life and that is love divine love and the sun rules our solar plexus this area here of our intuition of our inner strength our inner knowing and guiding us in the place 
a joy. So whatever it is that brings us joy, that's the, the, the direction we go to. So beautiful reading today. Absolutely beautiful. Just asking us to, as the reading yesterday, asking us to have that focus of the needle, the needle all as we're threading that that thread through we have that focus in it if we were looking everywhere else we would be missing the mark constantly so it's having that that focus point that pinpoint of what it is that that makes us happy that makes us that enlivens us and that whether it is peace whether it is love we have to feel it first so i'm setting the intention of for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective for anyone who views this video asking for a message now from the universe and we have galactic healer move forward with an open mind let go of all them limiting beliefs we have serious that is coming now closer to earth coming into alignment with earth as we as we are moving in and through the lion's gate so we have these galactic masters of 100 percent light here coming through portals from Sirius, from, from the core of the universe, helping us and assisting us. And these are galactic healers. And as we ask for any healing, any area of our lives, ask for the healing, surrender it and then let it go. If we carry on worrying about it, we go down and down and we attach we get stuck in the third dimension and we're moving up through to the fifth dimension and higher and these beings are fifth dimension and a lot higher and they're very subtle so we have to sit in peace we have to sit in stillness to feel them it's very subtle and they come through with such immense healing so this is open to all of us at this time even more so, there's certain times of the year where these galactic masters visit us here that, that are able to come through those portals and help us immensely. And this is one of those times. So feel the energy of this galactic master, this galactic healer. And in this moment, just allow anything that is troubling you, causing you concern, whether it's mental, emotional, physical, whether it's a situation in your life. And feel the energy, feel how you feel in that, in that situation. Feel it, let it come up. And then take a nice deep breath and hand it over to this beautiful galactic healer here. Feel it leaving you now as it's the galactic healer is drawing anything that is no longer serving you, anything that is blocking you from your higher self. Feel how you would feel without these situations going on in your life. And take a nice deep breath and realign yourself to how you would feel living your greatest, your best life and allow anything that is not of that to flow into this galactic healer who's asking for you to release anything now it is bothering you, you do not even have to speak, you just feel and feel it leaving your body, taking nice deep breaths. And like a magnet, this galactic healer is taking everything now. Take a nice deep breath and 
go around your day about your day not even every time your mind your ego starts to speak of those situations take a deep breath and then let it go and know that every time we let it go we are stepping in faith knowing that the galactic healers are helping us and assisting us and we have faith they are far more powerful than our heads than than how we than how we could heal they are far more powerful so just let go and know that you have received a beautiful healing from the galactic healers so beautiful cards today absolutely wonderful keeping that focus point on peace on harmony whatever it is that you that lifts your spirits focus on it as long as it's not hurting anyone it's and it's beneficial for everyone so i'm sending so much love have a beautiful beautiful day really focusing on the direction that we're all moving to the new earth that is in our vision now um we are there it's just waiting we are just untangling disconnecting from the third dimension now so i'm sending so much love have a wonderful wonderful day and thank you for listening god bless thank you